Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm taking you to the gym with me for the very beginning of our Squat with Squid series. See what I did there? You know, you know I came up with that on my own because people call me Squid. Sid, Squid, Squat with Squid. Today we are doing a booty workout and kind of like, just, this is just kind of, this is a staple workout that I'll do if I get to the gym for leg day and I'm like, I have no idea what I want to do today. This is always a go-to, these movements that I'm going to be showing you. Some of the exercises will be supersetted and so what that means is that you'll do one set of what, so what that means is you'll do one set of one exercise and then go straight into your set of the next exercise and then you will take a pause. A break, some water, take a cool down for like 30 seconds and then you'll go in and then you'll do that next set, go straight into the other set of the other exercise and I'll explain it more as we go through the video so that you'll understand better what a super set is if you are new to working out. Also, I'm going to be talking throughout the whole video as a voiceover, giving you specific tips and also just some little tricks to do if you are new to the gym. I am really, really hoping that these videos will help you all to be comfortable in the gym and to help you get to the gym because I know that I was scared to ever step foot in a weight room until my boyfriend brought me to the gym and show me what to do so I hope that through my videos I can help you all to feel comfortable in the gym and want to lift some weights so without further ado let's go to the gym and squat with squid to kick off my booty workout. I always start with some glute activation exercises. This is personally one of my favorites. So you just want to find a cable and an ankle strap and then make sure you're squeezing at the top to fully activate your glute muscle. I'm activating my glute here with 12 reps on each leg three times. Moving into the actual workout, I'm beginning with Sumo squats, I'm doing 10 reps, 4 sets. I'm making sure that I'm sitting low at a 90 degree angle or even lower. I'm also making sure that I'm sitting back into my squat so that my knees are not going over my toes. I don't want to cause any injuries here. Today was a heavier day for me, so I'm sticking with the low reps, but also really focusing on my mind to muscle activation, I guess you can call it here. Um, it's a real thing, focusing on your muscles that you are working. So then we are supersetting our 10 sumo squats with 20 jump squats. So right after you do your sumo squats, rack your weight, and then we will do 20 jump squats, and this will be done four times. Now we're gonna superset. We're gonna superset Cindy's workout. This is Cindy's workout. 101.3 KDW Sydney. Next, we are moving into 10 reps of four sets of hip thrust. I'm really making sure that I'm squeezing at the top of each rep here. You really wanna activate those glutes during this exercise to really ensure that you are getting what you need from it. And of course, you know I love supersets. So we are supersetting our hip thrust with a stiff leg deadlift. Um, with my deadlifts, I personally prefer not to come all the way up. I like to leave a little bit of tension right at the top, right there, and I like to squeeze my glutes right there. Some people come all the way up and really give their glutes a squeeze all the way up, but I personally feel like I get way better activation right here. So we are doing 12 reps, four sets of these, obviously supersetting them. Good luck. This one is not going to be a super set. We are doing squat pulses. So we'll squat down, do a couple pulses, and then come back up. Once again with these, I don't like to squeeze at the top. I like to leave just a little bit of tension there and squeeze right there and feel the tension there. We are doing 12 reps, four sets of these. Um, I sped it up here just to kind of get it over with, but we are just doing this one alone. There's no supersetting here. 
And then once you have finished your four sets of those, we'll move into kettlebell swings. We are doing, once again, 12 reps, four sets, or if you want to even grab a lower weight, do 15 reps for four sets. Um, really make sure that you're keeping your chest up here and then keep a lot of your weight in your heels and then push with your hips. Alrighty, I hope you all enjoyed your very first squat with squid workout. There will definitely be more to come, also more upper body workouts, some hit workouts, some ab workouts that I'm all just gonna intertwine. Um, my very OCD organized self has every video planned out till December, so you can be expecting um, lots of workout videos. There will be some clothing hauls, you know, just stick around and you'll see, you know. Hang around. So I have now gotten ready for the day. I still have my gym clothes on, so I'm going to get dressed now. I did my makeup, put a lot of dry shampoo in my hair, and I have my favorite green smoothie that I am sipping on that I have been obsessed with lately. Seriously, all it is is I think I have like two cups of spinach in there. Um, ground flaxseed, chia seeds, and my favorite vanilla protein powder, which I will link below in the description for you all. But yes, I hope you all have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching my videos and supporting me. Um, if you liked what you saw today or any other day, be sure to subscribe, give it a nice thumbs up, and also, um, I don't even know if I'm pointing in the right direction right now. <laughs> Turn your post notifications on so that you can be notified when I'm posting so that you never miss any videos that I'm posting. Yeah. Yeah. That you never miss anything and you are always here. Um, I'll just leave you guys with have a wonderful rest of your day and do something that empowers you today. Bye!